Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. I continue some more unboxings, uh, some knives that Mr. Eddie has allowed me to check out. And so I got a few more Berg, uh, Berg Blades knives in. And this looks very similar to the box that I had gotten earlier. So I still have this right over here. Uh, another box that we already opened. So let's take a look. The first thing that was in one of the boxes, I almost missed it, is this little Berg Blades uh, Bottle Butcher. That's what it's called, a Bottle Butcher. And it's got a nice little Kydex. Um, holster there or sheath if you will and it does click in really nicely it does open bottles which is idea you know right uh, could be a neck knife could be a keychain knife it does come off pretty nicely has a nice little edge right on there um, kind of cool very stocky though it's a chunky boy and uh, it's definitely like a two finger knife I would think like uh, you could do to I don't know why there's I, I don't I, I don't know why there's two little indentions there I mean that, that's microscopic fingers I mean Maybe, maybe maybe this is like, you know, Oompa Loompas from, uh, you know, uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or something. I don't know. But uh, that's awfully small. So I could maybe get one finger in there, maybe a finger and a half. So this would be a very pinch grip sort of knife for me, for sure. So that it would be very much a specific tool like that. But interesting, interesting. It is, uh, I, I did find out that this is 440 stainless steel kydex uh holster stone washed so i mean you know it it's it's perfect for like a little keychain knife right it's not super high end high end steel so you don't have to worry about feeling very cautious with it and they still have these for sale i believe and they're around 42 bucks or something uh it is manufactured it's not a custom or anything like that so definitely pretty cool uh interesting little knife um not sure if it's going to be a review on that one but that was kind of interesting to add to to the opening so let's look at this bird blades here uh, these boxes are a little hard to open. Ooh, don't want to damage them trying to get them open. All right. Ooh, okay. So we got some collar, um, pivot collars maybe there. So, oh, oh, okay. Zirconium pivot. So he must have had the original, the original pivot collars, ti ti titanium ones or something. I assume they're titanium. Let's, let's check. Yeah, titanium. And so then they were replaced with this beautiful zirconium. That's going to be kind of cool. All right, so let's put that off to the side. We'll put that off to the side. Now, this does look like the Iron Pup as well, but this one has thumb studs, barrel thumb studs, not volcano. Uh, definitely frame lock as well, deep pocket carry clip. All right, so let's take a look and compare that to, because this is very similar to the other Iron Mutt. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, so this one, I think, okay, so this must be the newer one. I think this is the newer one here. This is the Iron Monk with a flipper. Now, this in particular happens to be a, like an acid-washed blade, both hollow grind. This one has a fuller. This one has just a thumb stud. Let's see here. Is it just, yeah, it's thumb, thumb stud only. So if you like a more discreet profile, you know, not anything around, just thumb studs, that will do it. The thumb studs do come up enough so you can easily de deploy them. There is a little chamfering on there, so that does work. It's, it is beautifully, uh, looks like, uh, I guess this would be bead blasted uh, scale. Um, beautiful. Uh, it's not super deep pocket carry. Let's see. Does it follow the same on both of them? It does appear. No. Okay. So this is the older one. And so there you go. So there's the revision of the older one. You'll see they brought the, the clip up, which is a very good move in my opinion. Right. And are they about the same? The same height. Yep. Same height. Okay. Um, so the difference is thumb studs. This one here has the fuller and it also has the flipper. So that's nice. All right. Very cool. So it has a couple of options, which this one I said earlier, you can do a push button on this one right here really is just thumb studs. So this is the older version. Now I will tell you comparing the two, I like the a deeper pocket carry clip. That's definitely more convenient because this one would stick up about this high and this one would stick up about this high. So as a smaller knife, that's a pretty significant percentage of the knife. Could easily get knocked out. Um, now, I know some people don't like the little pocket, uh, the pocket pecker, they call this here, a little poker, poke you in the pocket, you know, because of the flipper. I, I get that. I get that. But I would prefer this a little bit more than the other one, even though the, the, the swedge is really nice. And I got to tell you, they do the thumb studs well. So if you're a thumb stud fan, and you're okay with just thumb studs only. This is, it's, I mean, it's nice. So it's a nice way to compare the two and see the evolution of this particular knife. Some things were kept the same and some things were, were, were different. Uh, still a little gritty on the, 
the cutout for the lock bar. The lock bar appears to be pretty similar. Uh, we have inserts, uh, the co uh, pivot collars here. I'm curious if those pivot collars would fit over there. I bet they probably would. Um, now this is the zebra fire anodized. It's like a zebra pattern on the blacked out scale. So that's cool. That's, that's kind of a little extra. Now this one hasn't quite broken in yet. It's still a little, you know, and this one probably because it's older, this one has broken in. But these are both all a little bit tight. Um, don't quite have the full drop shut action, but they're still pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so I guess we're doing sort of a comparison from an older model to a newer model, thumb stud only, to a flipper and a fuller. So interesting, interesting. I, 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 otherwise, I feel like everything is the same. Let's see. Yeah, access to the lock bar, the back spacer. Let's see here, lock bar. Uh, oh, they have a little cutout too. Well, but that's because it's a flipper, so that makes sense. You don't need that over here. Um, everything else here looks pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Um, still, what I have the issue here, full fingers. I am almost, I'm off the edge right here. So I'm barely four fingers. I'm like three and three quarters on this one. Let's see, three and three quarters here as well. But what's nice is that without the flipper, I can choke up, and get a better presentation. Nice aggressive jimping, that does work. You can definitely choke up here. This one sort of has a, but it's a very delicate one. Really great for pinch grip, and that's about it. So, yeah, interesting, interesting, uh, interesting thing. So uh, I do like those are the Timascus, the Timascus uh, accent. I think that's pretty, pretty nifty. That's a cool little feature. I think uh, definitely worth it. Um, I think these guys would do really well with uh, skiffs in them and a little bit of tuning. Have that beautiful control drop shut action on this thing here. Um, but I have to tell you, between the two, to me, it makes it way worth it to have a, a, a higher pocket clip. I think that is absolutely outstanding. Hold, hold that thought for a second. All right, we're back. So we are looking at this from the perspective of comparing to two, right? Um, I mean, th there's a bend. This, I mean, the satin finish with the multiple different angles is nice. The swedge is nice. To me, it's a, it's a beautiful shape on this blade. I do like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's barely in the cutting path, but it sort of is in the cutting path as far, as far as the thumb studs. Now, they're barrel shape, which I'm not a big fan of, but in this case, because it's so tight to the scale and it has enough clearance off of the scale, it actually works really nicely, right? So it does work. And it has that chamfering right there to give you enough angle. It's not a super sharp edge on you. So that does work pretty well. And it works left-handed, right? And then let's see here. How about left-handed flip? Yeah, you can flip it. Is it easy to get up there? Uh, it's a small knife, so I always have trouble with smaller knives like this. I mean, the benefit of this one, like I said, you can you can choke up on it, which is nice. But again, still a smaller knife. But I like the fact that if you're gonna have a smaller knife, that you can definitely have a finger. Uh, you can choke up with your finger. That is absolutely a positive. Whereas over here, you know, you can sort of put your finger in there. But if you got big meaty fingers like me, I, I just can't. We already talked about that one. So I'm just I'm comparing the two, right? This is my first impressions, or I had a first impression of that one by itself, but now we're comparing it to the older model. And it, it kind of makes the newer model, I see the benefits in the newer model. I do like a fuller. I like to be able to reverse flick. I like a flipper. The flipper works well. Um, I, I get the thumb stud being only a thumb stud. People might have had an issue with that. But there's the benefit of the choke up, right? That is kind of nice. Now, of course, you can do a flipper delete on this thing and make this someone wanted to. The only problem with doing a flipper delete with this sort of uh, acid wash, you'd have to treat that blade or completely remove the acid wash. And then this would become just a, a full, uh, you know, a fuller deployment knife, which could work, right? Because it works pretty nicely, but it's gritty with this acid wash. You can hear it. That needs to build in a track to get in there. Uh, but for aesthetics wise, I do like the titanium, the raw titanium look. That is, that is rather pretty. So, yeah, so there we go. Here, we are, here we're dealing with the two knives. Uh, we've got the newer version, you know, a different aesthetic altogether. The fuller, the flipper. you got the older version with the thumb stud, uh, 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 satin finished, um, un untreated or un uncoated or whatever, unfire anodized titanium scales. Um, but everything else seems pretty cool. So there you go. Definitely interesting. Now, comparing it to maybe the little uh, bottle butcher, um, got two iron pups and the iron bottle butcher. They definitely offer some interesting stuff. Now, I, I've had a Berg Blade Sweeney. I like the Sweeney a lot. I know there's a mini Sweeney, so if people thought the Sweeney was too big, 
can absolutely go get yourself a little mini Sweeney uh, for sure. But, um, I like the Sweeney. I like the Sweeney size. It just was a knife I didn't carry a lot, so I ended up selling it, right? Um, you know my rule. If I don't carry it, it kind of it becomes a catch and release. And so um, I have a few knives that I'm going to be doing in a sale coming up um, with that same thing. So uh, depending on when you watch this video, that sale may have already gone, you know, and, and then uh, or the sale hasn't happened yet. But there you go. I like the Iron Pup. I think it's a cool design. I do think it's for smaller hands. If you've got really large hands, you may not be quite your cup of tea unless you're okay with a three-finger knife. My first impression is good. It's great quality. Everything about it, I like it. It does flip well. I think it could easily be tuned to be even better. Now, I will tell you, the Sweeney out of the box was perfectly tuned, ready to go, whereas the Iron Pup definitely, to me, seems like it needs a little handling and a little tuning. Um, if I were to make this one of my knives, right? I would lighten the detent. I would put skiffs in it. I would make sure there was no, wherever the track of the, of the detent ball is, is nice and clean. Sometimes what you can do for, for when it's gritty like that, you just work this a little bit like this. And so what you're doing, you don't have to push really hard. You just, you just kind of, you're trying to make that track um, kind of come in place. So it's not going over that acid washed. And so it'll have a, it'll go past and it'll be a lot smoother. Now, over time, that happens with the knife as you use it, right? That, you know, you just keep doing this, and, and then suddenly that track is there. And then next thing you noticed, it drops a little smoother, right? Uh, now, the only problem I have with this one is when I'm dropping it, my fingers are on the lock bar because it's a small knife. So, if you've got big, meaty fingers, maybe a second guess. But if you have smaller hands, this is definitely pretty interesting. Definitely pretty interesting. All right, so here we go. Iron Pup, kind of a consideration of an older model to the newer model, the thumb stud to the flipper to the fuller. And then we've also got the uh, <laughs> Bottle Butcher, which is like interesting little knife. So if you've always wanted to have something with you on your keychain, this might be for you. This might be definitely something to consider, right? Um, uh, it locks in pretty good, you know, depending on how you handle your keys and stuff. I don't know if this will be secure enough for you, but you know, it's definitely pretty secure in there so that's kind of a kind of a cool situation so it might be a good neck knife or just a pocket knife right all right i would love to hear your thoughts i'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think about this and where you stand on this particular one um let me know um you know uh i'd love to know your questions about the knives because I, I think we will do a review on this you know for sure um again this was an unboxing uh, it was kind of un unexpected to do unboxing of a similar knife older version but still pretty cool so hey let me get my card out here hey, if you found this content fun interesting or worthwhile uh, would you please consider hitting the like button down below and if you've ever hit that like button would you please consider hitting the subscribe button subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel allows the channel to produce more content do more things ultimately do more things for you guys so thank you thank you to you guys who watch the videos who like the videos who subscribe i appreciate you and if you haven't already hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video and then a big thank you to my channel members out there i so appreciate you guys and if you've been on the edge and you thought hey i'd like to become a channel member i'd love to have you please don't ever feel obligated but love to have you check out the link down below there's a, a link for the in the description for three different tiers uh, however you want to support the channel i would be honored but as a small way for me to say thank you i do a once a month members giveaway and i try to make that a really nice uh, giveaway as long as people have been so generous with the membership so i definitely want to make sure i do something really nice for you guys and also all brand new channel members or if you've been a channel member for a while and you've never asked me i would love to send you a sticker for becoming a channel member uh, just email me with your name and address. Uh, my email address you can find at the homepage of the channel. Uh, there's a link there as well. Um, but let me know, and I would love to uh, send you out a sticker, a small way for me to say thank you. Uh, just appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already, check me out on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.